So my name is Fabrizio Giuliani. I am a clinician scientist in the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. And Dr. Haley? Uh, my name is Johannes Haile. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the University of Alberta in the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry. And can you tell me what the gist of your research is? Uh, our research is we are interested to uh, mitigate inflammation mediated neuronal deaths. This is because inflammation has significant role in MS and multiple sclerosis. And there are other types of T cells which are supposed to regulate, suppress the inflammatory condition, and prevent the death of nerve cells. So with this objective, we tried to use these regulatory T cells, the so-called regulatory T cells, but what we found is opposite of our expectation, these so-called regulatory cells, they are cytotoxic themselves. They kill the neurons very uh, drastically. And Dr. Giuliani, what's the clinical relevance for MS patients and people with autoimmune diseases? Well, the clinical relevance, there are two, uh, I think, relevant facts about these populations that we have described. One is that um, other researchers were thinking about using uh, these regulatory T cells as a potential therapy for MS and other autoimmune diseases. And uh, most of the data on this population of cells is coming from animal studies. And uh, our findings together with findings of other researchers are showing that eventually in the human system there is a difference. Uh, and that the difference is that in this population called regulatory cells, or defined as regulatory, there can be cells uh, that instead can be uh, neurotoxic. And uh, neurotoxic or cytotoxic, uh, and more in general. And this is really important because uh, then we need to study uh, better the immune system in the human subjects uh, and, uh, and get more information about the population. So uh, the future uh, relevance of uh, this uh, research is that we will need to better define this population of cells uh, in humans uh, before thinking about uh, a therapeutic application. And what will your next steps be for research? So our next step on, uh, on this study would be to define this population and the, in the humans and then see what is the role that this population is playing in, uh, in patients with multiple sclerosis. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, what I want to add is that uh, there is there just, you know, yesterday we saw another publication coming from actually a bigger group in Yale University that was published in Nature Medicine that is actually talking about the population of cells we have described for the first time uh, as being increased in patients with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. Excellent. Thank you.